Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I'm going to do a reading for the first half of January for love, and this is going to be for the sign of Leo. Uh, please remember that this reading is general, so all the messages may not resonate with you. If you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. I do uh, phone readings and I also do um, recorded videos, okay? So this will be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Uh, remember that um, you can also check out my other videos to check out your other signs. I'm a Cancer sun. My moon is in Leo. Um, and a lot of times my moon sign really strongly resonates with me along with my rising sign of Gemini. So I am going to um, do this reading a little bit differently. So if you've watched my channel before, every now and then I'll do pick an angel reading. Um, and what I do is I have three stacks. Um, each stack has an angel. So um, I'm going to do the first portion of the reading with... The tarot and then the second portion is going to be with the oracle cards and this is going to uh, be so that the messages are more um, <clears throat> personal for you by picking which stack that you want okay so um, the first stack that we have is the feminine angel the second stack is the baby angel the third stack is the masculine angel okay so you can kind of look at the angels and feel which one is the one that you're more drawn to and that will be the stack with the messages for you okay so i'll go back to that stack after the tarot portion and finally if you do um enjoy my readings please subscribe like comment that's how i get my feedback i appreciate it and let's get started okay i'm gonna cut the deck i always pre-shuffle before i go on camera but i always want you to know that i shuffle so i should do some more shuffling on camera so here we go All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for Leo, first half of January in love. And that's going to be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, I feel like something's keeping you guys up at night. Um, you're having a little bit of anxiety, okay, because the first card out was the Nine of Swords. So I feel like quite a few of you are up late at night, you're having trouble sleeping, um, partially because I feel like there may be, with the moon here, there may be some things that are unknown, okay, um, to you, um, not knowing what the future holds, um, thinking about this person in your life, okay, um, you know, for some of you, you may not have um, somebody in your life at the moment. But whatever the case may be, I feel like um, there's a situation here where you're you're having some anxieties, you're over some anxiety, you're overthinking, um, having a hard time sleeping at night. Okay, so I feel here that's partially because also too we have the justice card here. So I feel like there may have been somebody who did you wrong um, that has made you feel this way. Um, some of you may be going through a divorce or a separation, um, but definitely feel here that things are out of balance, um, and whatever the situation, it's, um, you know, you're having a hard time with it, okay? So the next card that came out, um, is a fire sign, so we have the king of wands here, so this could be you, Leo, um, excuse me, it can be an Aries or Sagittarius as well. I feel here that, um, that, I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, all these messages are coming through here. So feeling here that this could be the person in your life that uh, may be causing you some anxiety. Okay, so I'm going to move on. 
pull some more cards here with another deck and see what's going on. Ooh. I kind of paused there because I just realized I forgot to put the do not disturb on my phone. So I am just going to be positive and think nobody's going to call until after my reading. Nobody's going to text me. So let's see how that goes. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for Leo. First half of January. Please tell us what we need to know for the first half of January. Please tell us what we need to know. We need three cards, please. Please tell us what we need to know for Leo. First half of January in love. Oh, we got too many parts there. Please tell us what we need to know. There's one. Please tell us what we need to know. Please tell us what we need to know. The first half of January in love. Ooh, too many cards there, but I'm going to take this one that fell out. One more card, please. Please tell us what we need to know. One more card for Leo. Ooh. All right, there it is. Okay. So, um, the first card that came out is the Ace of Wands, okay, which fell on the Nine of Swords. So, I feel like a lot of you are wanting a new beginning with someone. Feel like um, there might be somebody that you want another chance or an opportunity with. Remember, roles can be reversed. Um, this person may want another opportunity with you as well. Um, but feel like you're really wanting um, a new beginning, something more stable, um, you know, financially um, want, uh, you know, things to progress. Uh, you know, you might want this person to reach out to you and take some action towards bringing things together, okay? But I feel like you're really up at night thinking about this, um, you know, what's going to happen in the future, okay? Um, but I feel like this is a good indication um, that there is a really good, um, I feel like this is a really good indication that there is a new beginning coming here, okay? I feel also here, um, this can be very abundant as well. Um, sometimes this card can also, um, you know, indicate inheritance or coming into a large sum of money. So that's um, a really good card to have there. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Um, not because of money, but because I think it's just really beautiful. You know, there's a ruby you know, on the top of this wand, uh, Ruby's my birthstone. I just think this, it's, it's really beautiful. Okay. All right. So the second card that came out is the King of Pentacles. So this could be the person in your life. You know, this could be earth energy, which is Capricorn, uh, Virgo or Taurus. Okay. So I feel like, um, this possibly could be the person in your life. I feel like this person um, is, you know, very, um, very grounded, um, very uh, practical, um, can, um, you know, easily provide um, for you in a financial way. Okay, this person may not be, may not easily express how they feel about you. Um, you know, I feel here, you know, the the, because this person is so practical, um, they're, they're more, um, I feel like this person's more intellectual. Um, this person may not, um, express enough how they feel. This also could be the person that you're wanting justice from. Like I said, there could be a separation. There could be a divorce or you just may want some type of apology from this person. Okay, um, the next card came out, um, so like I said, we have the King of Wands here, 
um, you know, this could be fire energy. Like I said, we had Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This could be you. Um, and we have the Nine of Cups. So really feeling here like you're hoping and wishing for this person to reach out to you. Okay. Um, you know, also feeling here that um, for some of you, this person may just be out you know, partying too much, um, not really taking the connection or the relationship um, seriously, um, and you wanting some, you know, more stable uh, commitment or action there, okay? So let's keep going, see what comes out. All right, adjust the camera. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for Leo. In love. Ooh, okay, there we go. We got them both. Okay, so. Oh, interesting here. Okay, so the first card out is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like um, things with the two of you may have ended in the past. Okay, either there's somebody from your past for something has ended and you're wanting a new beginning you're wanting a fresh start okay um, this could be with a, a new person or this could be um, with the person in the past where you're wanting reconciliation so definitely I feel here this person did hurt you very badly and I feel like that this is what you're still thinking about that's still keeping you up here okay I feel you do want a new start with this person um, and whatever the situation was that happened in the past has really affected you deeply, okay? And it was very painful for you. But the good thing is, is that, you know, in this picture here, you know, he looks like he's dying, but, you know, there's this brilliant light that's shining on him, which means this person's going through healing and the worst is over. Um, and you know, you can move on, you can move on for, and for a new beginning. Okay. Be hopeful for a new, bright, abundant, um, passionate beginning here. Okay. All right. So the next card that came out is the moon card. Okay. So like I said, I feel like some of you want a, an apology from possibly this King of Pentacles energy with the moon card here. This could be a Pisces, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, but this can also be about illusions, the unknown. Um, so I feel like this is part of what's keeping you up at night of not knowing what's going to happen. Is, you know, is this person going to come forward with an apology or if you're in separation um, or going through divorce not knowing what the outcome is going to be okay and then the next card is the eight of swords so again you're really um, in your head about this um, you know you're really just really overthinking the situation and um, worrying, I feel like you're worrying that this person is um, maybe out partying, having a good time, you know, um, you know, just out there having fun um, while you're overthinking the situation, um, you know, with this King of Wands energy here. Okay, so. For others, you know, this also may be just that you're <coughs> thinking about you want things to change, okay, but you don't know how to change it. You're you're just stuck in your thoughts about the whole situation, not sure what to do. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Let's see what else comes up. All right, thank you, angels and spirit. Please tell us what we need to know for Leo for the month of January, first half in love. Please tell us what we need to know. Please tell us what we need to know. 
Please tell us what we need to know regarding this connection. Please tell us what we need to know. All right, please tell us what we need to know. Yep, we got two cards there. Yeah, we have Seven of Cups, Confusion, we have Ten of Pentacles, uh, not knowing if this is going to, you know, turn into a committed relationship, and then we have Temperance, we have Balance, Patience, okay. So, feeling here, so... I feel like, like I said, I feel like for some of you, um, a situation has ended. You're wanting a new beginning. I feel here, some of you may feel some confusion, but with this deck, I, this is more about different opportunities that may come your way. And they may be good. I consider that good opportunities because we have the rainbow here shooting out from the cup. Um, you know, and there's quite a few cups to choose from he's got three in his hands in the dragon's hands so i feel here that even though a situation has ended i feel like it's going to bring some new opportunities and you're going to have more than one opportunity to choose from okay now the next card that came out is the ten of pentacles okay so I feel here, you know, there's, like I said, there was the unknown card. I feel like, you know, there was some anxiety um, regarding not knowing what's going to happen in the future. Um, but with the, with the Seven of Cups and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, I feel here that, um, that, that there is going to be an opportunity for a stable, committed relationship, okay? So whether this is going to be somebody from the past or somebody new coming into your life. And the next card out is the temperance card. So I feel like this is spirit saying um, you're gonna need to have a little bit of patience here, okay? Um, that the situation is gonna come into balance and you're gonna need a little bit of patience here. So I feel like you are gonna move past this energy, this Eight of Swords energy, where you're feeling stuck, um, you know, and it, it's all illusions, um, you know, overthinking that's causing you to feel stuck. And I feel like you're gonna to get to a place where you're gonna find more balance, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, but it's going to take some time and it's going to take some patience. Okay. So whether you're waiting for someone to return in your life or you're waiting for a new opportunity or a situation to resolve, like I said, I feel like some of you may be in separation or divorce. I feel like things are going to work out. There's going to be opportunities that come your way. Um, there's going to be more of a solid uh, stable uh, future, okay? For some of you, if you're getting divorced, <clears throat> you know, this just may work out financially for you. Um, and you, you know, you may not have a new person coming in yet, okay? But like I said, it's going to take some patience. It's going to take some patience before things balance out, okay? All right, so actually that reading worked out okay. So, oh, excuse me. So I think here, just looking at the cards again, uh, you know, with the temperance card here, we could have a Sagittarius, okay? So I think things are going to balance out and be fine. Um, like I said, it's going to be in divine timing and patience. And let's now move on to the Oracle reading. Okay, so the first um, angel I have is the Feminine Angel. <clears throat> and let me lay out the cards. Okay, so the first cards that I put out is the Romance Angel cards. The first card, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, getting to know each other. Okay, so um, I'm feeling here, like I said, there was a situation that ended. 
um, you know, this person may come back into your life. Um, and, you know, I feel like this card for you is going to be about um, catching up um, and getting into a place where you're like um, discovering each other, discovering each other all over again. For some of you, <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be other opportunities. Um, so you may have a new person coming in um, because I am seeing two different energies here. So I feel like, um, you know, there could be, um, you know, a, more of a, um, a stable energy here um, that's going to bring you more uh, abundance and stability. And then we have another energy that I feel here. Um, it's going to be more of a passionate energy. Might be somebody here from the past as well. The second card that came out, <clears throat> excuse me, is clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, so very soon. So um, I feel like whatever the case, something's going to happen here very soon. I feel like the opportunities are going to come in um, pretty quickly here. Okay. The next card that came out is ask for help from others. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for some of you who are having a hard time, um, you may be overthinking the situation more than, um, you know, what it really is. You may be imagining, um, you know, the situation to play out a certain way and it may not be that way at all. Okay. So, um, you know, get, don't be afraid to ask <clears throat> for inner, I'm sorry, for support from your inner circle. This can be asking for help from your angels, spirit, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. Um, but don't be afraid to ask for support, okay? Second card that came out is success. So I feel like your angels are saying here, no matter what happens um, in this situation, um, I feel like your angels are saying that the outcome is going to be successful. Okay. <clears throat> the next card that I pulled is from the Lover's Oracle card. And it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Very, very true. No matter what the situation if you're having a hard time right now, just think about all the things that bring you happiness and joy in your life. Um, you know, think about the things to be thankful for. I always say this and, and try to promote this, like do things that make you happy, do things that um, you're passionate about, do things that make you feel good. Put the attention on yourself during these times when, you know, you're not excuse me, feeling well, or you may feel anxiety or depressed or overthinking, um, you know, just focus that energy on yourself, okay? Um, taking it away from the other person um, and putting it on yourself really, um, like, helps, um, you know, just draw that person in, okay? They feel the disconnect there when you're focusing on you, and what makes you happy um, and it also helps you spiritually to be able to heal um, you know forgive yourself and move on as well not forgive yourself for, <laughs> well forgive yourself too but forgiving you know others um, in situations where they may not have made you feel good okay being able to give and receive love all right sorry that was so long-winded there Okay, so the next card I pulled is from the Archangel Michael deck. Um, the first, or the card that came out is Go Forward Fearlessly. <clears throat> and this card says, this card is a sign that you're on the right path and that it's safe for you to move forward with your plans. As long as you hold intentions that are focused on your heart's desire, your steps will be automatically poised in the right direction. Right now, it's important for you to take action, no matter how small or seemingly inconsequential toward your desired outcome. Ask Archa Archangel Michael, <clears throat> excuse me, Archangel Michael for guidance by saying, 
please show me the next step and he'll come to your aid. And all the while, he'll also be protecting and supporting you through these significant life changes. And if you want to say the prayer with me, I'll hold it up closely. It says, Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. All right, beautiful, beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like, you know, there is um, a little bit of, <clears throat> you know, some thinking and overthinking going on here, but I feel like the outcome is going to be positive. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of water really quick. My mouth is dry from talking so much. <clears throat> okay, and the next stack is angel number two, which is the baby angel. All right, let's pull these cards out here. <clears throat> okay, so the first card that came out is your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive of yourself first. <clears throat> yes, so feeling here, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are doing overthinking. Some of you may even blame yourself, um, you know, for certain situations, um, but I feel like um, you know, you just need to work on loving yourself, um, knowing that nobody's at fault here. Okay. Well, somebody may be at fault here, but, um, feeling here, if you're putting self blame on yourself, um, don't be hard on yourself, you know, work on loving you, set those boundaries. Um, you know, a lot of times if people don't treat us right, we think we did something wrong. Um, and that's not the case, okay? So just take some time out for you. Do something that makes you happy and, and feel good. Um, and, you know, that that's going to bring that, draw that person closer to you if you're wanting this person to come back into your life, okay? Or you're trying to manifest a new person in your life. And the next card is you are lovable. So you deserve love, okay? For me, this is the Cupid arrow card where I feel when this card comes out, it's, you know, love's going to strike, okay? Um, you know, this person, I feel, is going to appear. Um, this could be new love. This could be <clears throat> somebody already in your life, okay? So... I feel like, too, it's when you least expect it is when that person's going to come. Okay, the next two cards I pulled is from the Angel Answer cards. This first one is Listen to Your Intuition. Um, yes, so your angels are reminding you, listen to your intuition. Do what um, makes you feel good and makes you feel happy. Um, if it doesn't feel right... Okay, if you're having, you're with somebody and you're having a lot of sleepless nights, you're having anxiety, there's a reason why you're having anxiety, okay? So this person may not be the right person for you or they may not be treating you right, okay? So listen to your intuition. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the next card is trust. Your angels are saying trust in the process. Trust that they are looking out for you. They are guiding you. Um, they are helping you listen to your intuition and just trust that things will fall into place, okay? <clears throat> and the next card that came out is from the Lover's Oracle. And the card that came out is Embrace, okay? Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And yes, for some of you, I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation here, okay? I feel like... Um, the two of you will come together, okay? The next card that came out, it was, um, I pulled from the Archangel Michael deck, a message from Archangel Michael, and the card that came out <clears throat> is prayer will help this situation. Let's see here, sorry, I'm trying to find the page. 
Here we go. Okay. So what this card says, Archangel Michael reminds you that prayer improves every situation, while worry does the opposite. Praying works because it allows God and the angels to offer assistance. Since they cannot violate your free will, they can only intercede with your permission at your request, which is what prayer is. Although your prayers may be answered differently from your expectations, rest assured that you're being heard. The divine mind knows the perfect solution for everyone involved, so your role is to ask for help and then follow the guidance as it is given. <coughs> Excuse me. God and the angels are in charge of how your prayers are answered, which is usually in ingenious ways beyond the scope of human imagination. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, anyone else to whom you pray, such as Jesus, I ask for your divine intervention and then describe the situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me and this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. And the message that stood out for me um, in this um, card is, is about, sorry, I'm trying to find it here, about the worry. Like, I feel like there's a lot of worry going on with this reading, right? Like I said, I feel like you have a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of thinking, um, and I feel like it's more than what you need okay I feel like um, the situation is going to work out better than what you think it is um, so I feel like you may be overthinking it okay and that's where this card comes in um, it, you know to say you know ask for help from your angels and with prayer to take that worry away from you okay so I'm gonna move on to the last <coughs> excuse me, angel, which is the masculine angel. All right, and the first two cards from the Lover's Oracle is honestly discuss your feelings with each other, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So yes, I do feel um, like there are going to be some conversations with you and this person. Um, I feel like, um, you know, you're having a hard time right now because you're unsure what the outcome is going to be. But like I said, I feel like overall, um, you know, things are going to come into balance and things are going to become more stable. Okay. The next card that came out is work on your partnership. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. So I feel like this person in your life does want to work on the partnership, does want to work on the relationship. Okay, so I do feel that there is going to be some re reconciliation here. The next two cards I pulled are the Angel Answer cards. Um, and the first card is Get More Information. So what I'm feeling here is that a couple things. <coughs> I feel like this is, also, this is in regards to spirituality. I feel like, um, you know, this is your angels saying, um, you know, get more information on how you can spiritually connect, um, you know, with the divine, um, using your inner guidance, using um, prayer, using meditation, um, you know, all the different things that you can do to help you through this situation, you know, um, you know, maybe getting some spiritual counseling, maybe some Reiki healing, um, maybe using crystals to help you, a um, lot of different things. So I feel like this is your angels telling you there's a lot of different resources out there that can help you through this time, okay? Um, the second card that came out is within the next few months. So I feel like this, this um, transition with this person um, you know, whatever is happening, um, to come into, 
something more stable, more balanced. Like I said, I feel like there's opportunities coming. I feel like all of this is going to take place between now and the next few months. Okay. The next card I pulled is from the Lover's Oracle. And it says, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So definitely feel like there's passion going on here with this connection. Okay. <clears throat> the next card I pulled is a message from Archangel Michael. It says, decide to be happy now. And I'll go ahead and read that to you. So this says, the angels have heard you and are answering your prayers. Instead of making your happiness contingent upon future events, you can decide to be happy now. One way to do this is to focus on everything and everyone for whom you feel grateful. What is working well in your life? What are your blessings and strengths? Strengths. By allowing yourself to experience joy and pleasure, now you become empowered. Take control of your life and prevent outside influences from determining how you feel. <clears throat> and if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. Okay, yes, beautiful, beautiful message. Um... You know, like I said, feeling like a lot of thinking here. Don't let the unknown or outside influences affect you, okay? Because that affects your health as well. All right. I still think this is a positive message. You know, there may be some challenges, but I feel like it's all going to balance out, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I'm sending you angel love.